Thanks to all of you beautiful beings, it's Elena and I'm Enchanted Tammy Be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, fantastic, beautiful souls right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. So on today's video, as you can see this box next to me and the title below, which is probably why you clicked on it, we are doing the literally August New Moon unboxing. Yay! Since we have a shorter, smaller box, this month is a candle box. So Lunar Lee is a monthly subscription box that's based around the new moon. It is to help you set new intentions, new goals, alongside with other meditative practices and every month you receive a candle or a plant it's interchangeable you get a crystal as well as other meditative goodies so without further ado let's dig in i keep forgetting my little box opener thing so i do hope that this month's box is going to be a little bit better than last month's box last month's box was a little bit disappointing. So I am not an affiliate with Lunarly. I have been a subscriber for well over two years and this is the longest subscription box I have ever had. And I just love the plants and usually love all the stuff inside. But last month's box was a little iffy if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna link it up at the top. Um, like I said, this month's box is a candle. The, the, there's a little bit of concern here for this box though because it's a little rattly so I'm hoping everything inside is fine oh it smells really good I have never had an issue with like a broken candle I have had a ton of plants tipped over though let's see so this is how it's packed inside I think the reason why it's rattly is because the this box in here doesn't fit the box inside kind of has some wiggle room which i think is why it's wiggly um i hope it seems to be all in one piece it smells so good like the box i'm sure that's the candle that smells good but the box itself smells so good as i like stick my head in it um, I'm going to go over the candle last, you know, we're going to save the best for last, kind of, sort of. And then they send this little box of other wonderful goodies. Now, what I really like is that I, I, I've been a subscriber for over two years, and every single time they send a box, same exact box, same exact size, and I love it because these are so perfect for storage, and they're kind of cute, too. So, um, I am a hoarder of boxes and jars and crystals and things and storage boxes are great for that all right so without further ado let's take a look of what we have for the sturgeon moon this month they always send a little all right that smells really good too is that you or mm, it smells soapy and clean or is that you kind of smell the same anyways we'll get into that later um, so they always send a little card like this that has some imagery to go alongside with the moon for the month now the imagery has not really changed throughout the years and in the back it has a little bit of information of things to come so we have new moon august 8th first quarter august 15th Full moon, August 22nd, last quarter, August 30th. And it says, the sturgeon moon gets its reputation of abundance from the many sturgeon that once filled the lakes of North America during this time of year. What opportunities are you looking to reel in? You can't catch a fish without bait. Think about how you will lure in positive change this month. I like that. And then an, an intention to inspire. I am patient but focused on bringing prosperity into my life. I like that. So we have a little image. I usually place these on top of my altar because I do like the imagery that goes alongside with the moon and a little bit of a cheat sheet to kind of have the moon dates and I do like the little intention thing. It's, it's a cute thing to read and I like adding it to my altar. So then we have the little booklet of information which I will read later and then we have... Oh! 
Hey, I believe they literally came out with a moon-based self-care book and this is their little advertisement for it. So if you're curious to check it out, it'll be available in September. So they have a little book that they put together. I don't know. Um, then we have ooh, something heavy. What are you? Hot and cold eye mask. <gasps> ooh, I was actually in a little bit of a search for that since they've sent a previous eye mask before about a year ago that was filled with, I believe, rice and lavender. And you were able to microwave that too. But I've had it for so long and it just kind of got dusty and you can't really wash things that have herbs inside so I ended up having to discard it. And then I was looking for how to open this box, <laughs> looking for something similar that I'm able to like stick in the microwave and do like a little hot compress. So if this is it, that would be, ooh, oh it's heavy, oh it's big, this is big. This would be nice. I like the weight of it. I am saying that it's heavy, but it's actually really good. I feel like heavy things like <laughs> are comfortable, comforting. Maybe, maybe I'm just being a little odd. Um, in any case, a weighted face blanket. That just no, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> so here we go. On this side, we have a nice, smooth, soft little velvety side. And on this side, we have the little beads, which could be hot or cold. I have to say, this is... Oh, let me... I have to say, this is pretty large compared to my face. Like, if I were to wrap it around, it's practically touching my ears. Oh my gosh, there's like half an inch to my ears. Maybe I just have a little face? I don't know. But these are... <laughs> this thing is big! <laughs> So, but it will be so nice to do either like a cooling therapy or a heat therapy for like relaxation and stuff like that. I, I would very much enjoy this. Yay! I'm not a fan of the Velcro though. I feel like the Velcro, no matter how nicely you kind of stick to it, it always ends up being caught in my hair. We shall see how that goes. Maybe I'll just sew it together? We shall see. Figure it out as I go. Then we have... Ooh, new moon soap, feeling smitten. Oh, let me give you an up close of this. I completely forgot. Little beads. And the soft velvetiness of this. So I suppose you can use it either way. Hmm. All right, the new moon soap. I believe this is what sm makes the box smell really, really good. Maybe it's that? I don't know. And again, I struggle with these boxes. Come on. Anybody else struggle with opening packages? I also have long-ish nails, and these are my natural nails, and I prefer to preserve them, <laughs> especially since I do top-down videos, and I wouldn't want, like, a random broken nail in my top-down videos. Oh, that's pretty! That is so cool! So I'm not going to take it out of its plastic, but you're able to see there's like a purple cloud and this looks cool. This is not what has the nice smell. I think that candle just like permeated through all of it. So it's going to be a really strong smelling candle. I hope the light is going to be kind to it. I'm not going to take off the plastic for it, so I apologize if there's like an extra glare. But it's like a see-through soap with like a purple and white cloud type of thing. That's pretty cool. All right, so we have soap. Then we have a little crystal for this month. What kind of crystal do we have? Ooh. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. This might potentially be quartz, but just the way that it's aligned, it seems to be a little bit more fragile looking. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. I'm sure the description will tell us about it. There's that. And then we have a tapestry. 
altar cloth, tarot card cloth, ooh, rainbows, altar cloth, I think this might be an altar cloth, so we have this fairly large size, cool looking rainbow cloth thing, I'm going to try to lean back so you can get, you know, all of it. Not exactly my aesthetic when it comes to altar cloths, so this might be put in like a little giveaway. But that's pretty cool. All right, so I believe this is it for the items in the box. The rest is just squiggles. I'm gonna put these aside so I can read about the goodies within. And we have Moon Phase Ritual Cloth. Okay, it says description, exploring the many uses of Lunarly's Moon Phase Ritual Cloth. Adorn your altar, set the mood for tarot readings, use as a meditation cloth, draw the moon's energy for your intention setting practice or even add a bit of cosmic flair to any room for decoration instructions spot clean by hand with a damp cloth and mildly soapy water as needed cool then we have harper and ari new moon soap get squeaky clean and crystal clear on new beginnings all at once this beautifully colored artisan artisan soap includes an embedded white agate stone to help you foster feelings oh so that that little thing inside is a crystal. So we have a purple cloud and a crystal. Cool. Feelings of strength, grounding, and confidence. Perfect for fresh starts. Instructions, scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Use this soap to wash off and recharge in the shower. You don't have to use it in the shower. You could just use it as a ritual hand washing before you go to your altar or before you start a spell or a ritual or anything like that. Or just keep it as a cute little decoration thing by your sink. Then we have, oh, okay, so it's definitely not quartz. I was right that it's not quartz. It is Stillbite. Easy, ease into serenity with the energy of Stillbite. Believed to have a soft, nurturing energy, Stillbite is a sweet reminder of your inner power on days when you're feeling down. Connect with this crystal to awaken your sense of love and joy for life. Hold instructions, hold this crystal in your hands, letting it catch the light and uplift your spirit with its sparkling energy. Then we have hot and cold eye mask. Whether you need the comfort of a warm eye compress at the end of a long day or a cold compress to help you cool down before bed, this hot and cold eye mask is ready to be your soothing solution. Use this eye mask for dry eyes, irritated eyes, and eyes in need of self-care. It says freeze or microwave in 10 second interval the mask until desired temperature is reached. Carefully remove and adjust the straps for a proper fit. Awesome. Then we're gonna go into the candle which really really smells amazing my whole room smells so good now so we have this image on the candle and i tend to collect them and <laughs> repurpose them the only drawback to these candles is i would really really appreciate it if they had a lid because sometimes i do outdoor rituals or anything like that i actually found a lid from a different type of candle that fits and if I were to carry this outdoors and if the wax has solidified but it's still soft, I don't want to just put it in my bag because the candle's going to get ruined. So I like to have little covers. They should send at least, you know, one cover so that I could reuse them or something. They, they, I, I would prefer a cover for a candle. Anyways, this is the Sturgeon Moon Candle. Sorry for my rant about candle covers. And it smells like a florally citrusy soap kind of sort of but not exactly a soapy smell kind of like a very aromatic clean smell but it smells really really good maybe like passion fruit or something i don't know let's read about it so we have oh grapefruit grapefruit that's the smell it's so ah oh, delicious so there's heather for independence and good fortune, olive for peace, healing, and friendship, grapefruit for renewal and strength. So this is for this month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And if you've made it this far in the video, comment down a sleepy emoji, like the, the emoji that has the little Z's on the top of it, you know, for the whole eye mask thing and because I'm tired I really like a nap right now <laughs> so 
anyways, it. hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I shall see you on the next one. Love you all. Bye.